Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. Today we're going to talk about exposure compensation. What is it? Should I use it? Some other details about it. Now, from the D3S manual, it says exposure compensation is used to alter exposure from the value suggested by the camera, making pictures brighter or darker. So that gives you a general sense, I guess, as technic technical speak, technician speak, basically if you increase, if you hit that button, which is what it looks like on an Icon camera, then uh, it'll either increase or decrease your exposure. Uh, if you dial it in by one stop, it'll increase your exposure. If you dial it under by a stop, it's going to decrease it. Simple as that. It's just going to be, it's a, it's a blanket exposure compensation. It's going to adjust it high or low, depending, up to five stops depending upon which way you go. So it, one thing you need to be, uh, there's actually a lot of things that you need to be conscious of when using the exposure compensation. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't use it a lot, um, but let's go over some of the pros and cons of it. First is it affects both your flash and available light. And in researching this video, I actually did not know that it affected both the flash and available light. I thought it was just hitting the available but it makes sense that it would also be doing the flash. You're expecting the flash. So be careful of that if you're shooting with a flash, you're gonna need to dial the exposure compensation separately between the, on the flash if you only wanna affect the flash, and if you only wanna affect the ambient, then you're gonna to have to shoot in manual mode exclusively. Now in program mode, it's going to randomly choose either your aperture or your shutter to adjust to increase or decrease your exposure. Um, I don't know how the cameras are programmed in that program mode. I, I haven't used a program mode in probably 10 or 15 years, something like that, probably since I was in high school. And so I don't know how it works. Sorry, I don't use it. Um, shutter priority, another one that I don't use a whole lot. Uh, every once in a while, but not very often will I use it. It'll uh, then increase your or decrease, which, uh, whichever way you dial it in, your aperture. And then the opposite is true. In aperture priority mode, it'll then increase or decrease your shutter and uh you know depending upon which way you go so manual mode that's the one that really gets everybody and that's and i have a big danger thing right here i should be underlining that because it is real dangerous when you get into manual mode it's actually only adjusting your meter okay it's moving your meter up and down try it grab your camera put it on manual mode put it on 60th at 2.8 at whatever iso that it happens to be on on a manual iso not auto ISO, and then dial that, that aperture priority up and down. It's only increasing your meter position. That is really, really dangerous. You really don't want to be using that mode. It's not a good idea, in my opinion, to be using that. You could accidentally be underexposing or overexposing, and you might for completely forget about it, especially if you used to have it on one of the shutter or aperture priority modes and you were using it, and then the next photo shoot you went and you had it on a manual. I don't like the, uh, that idea and I don't suggest it. One more last piece, we're gonna go over, should I use it? Should you be using exposure compensation or not? Personally, I don't use it a lot. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, one time that I will use it, and I have used it in the past, is if I was doing a, a sporting event or people running or moving a lot, and they were backlit. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is then put it on a center-weighted metering, and then I'll take a look at that exposure and then take my uh, exposure compensation and pump it up or down a little bit depending upon how it's metering. And obviously that's going to vary depending upon the clothes that they're wearing, all those things. But for the most part, I'm not a big fan. Um, like I did say, never use it on a manual mode. Never, never, never. I'm going to say never. I Sorry, I know people don't like it when I say never when it comes to photography, but I, I just cannot see any good use cases. And I if you have one, I'd love to hear it where it successfully worked for you of using exposure compensation in a manual mode. It just doesn't make sense to me. So uh, stick with it in your shutter priority and your after priority modes. Uh, usually when your lighting is a little weird and it, you need a little bit thicker or a little bit less exposure, simple as that. So uh, I think those are some good examples. So be careful with it. If you're gonna use it, just be careful with it. Don't forget to turn it back off because it can really ruin your images. You can have all underexposed, all under overexposed, and that's obviously not a good thing. So uh, comments, questions, concerns, I'd love to hear them. Greg Cazillo,
Kazillo.com. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See you.